Hi, Donald here, and this is my review of Things Fall Apart, written in 1958 by Nigerian author Shinua Achbe. This is a story that follows a family in a fictional village in Africa. It's about the man Okonko and his family through the years, like when he gets married to when he's growing up to basically his elderly years. And it's really a book about change, his trials, his beliefs, his fears, his anxieties, and that compounded with the arrival of colonialization or the European peoples. This is a very famous book that I've heard about. I didn't know anything about it, but I kept hearing about it, so I decided to read it. It's actually a pretty short book, about 200 pages, and not like a really dense 200 pages. You could read this one pretty quickly would be a good school reading actually. And the reading and the writing, it, nothing too complicated. It's, it's pretty accessible, I would say. Now having said my little introduction bit there, you might think this is just kind of a book on the evils of European colonization and this and that, but it really, half of the book or even more than half of the book has nothing to do with colonization. Like it just has to do with his life in Africa. And in that sense, this is a bold book because it doesn't necessarily paint either side as good or evil. I mean, clearly there are some some bad apples on the European side, but there are also some good people too. But it clearly demonstrates the differences of the peoples and the strengths and the weaknesses of both groups of people. Clearly, the, the colonists looks a little bad because historically they they did a lot of bad things and they tore up a lot of the tribes and poor treatment and this and that and religious intolerance, you know, etc, etc. But the African culture isn't prettied up either. It's not like a savage noble trope. It's when you watch a show like Avatar or, or the Avatar The Way of Water, you see these, the Navi, the, the savages, right? And they're super prettied up and they're like in tune with nature and they're all peaceful and harmonic and everything. But you know, it doesn't, it doesn't hide some of the negatives of the African culture either. Like, there are beheadings, random killings, tons and tons of abuse against women. Now, all of this said, the book does clearly show that the people were more happy. At least some of the people were clearly more happy before the colonists came. That said, even without the colonists, the culture was changing. And that's part of what this book is about. It really follows Okonkwa and how change affects him. In a strange way, he is trying to always be different, but he also fears change. I would say this book is famous for good reason. It really paints people as human beings with their own strengths and weaknesses. And you sympathize with a lot of the characters the people on his side against his side, the colonists sometimes, the people against the colonists, there's sympathy to go around. In addition, this book has really good insights into, I mean, it's fictional, right? But customs, values, religion, styles of government, punishments for crime, negotiations, the use of power, just African culture and how things are quite different than you might expect in a Western European system. All in all, I found this book to be brilliant easy to read, interesting, entertaining, and I highly recommend to all people. And I think this is a great reading for students. And that is my review of Things Fall Apart. Love this book, but I hope you give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Or maybe you've read it in the past and let me know what you thought of the book. Like it, hate it, in between, whatever. Okay, thanks.